So here we are at the Cooper's Ferry site in the Lower Salmon River Canyon, and we're beginning the 2012 field season. So basically what we're doing here is uh, we're putting up a cover over the site because it gets very hot out here. Uh, in the shade, they've measured it to about 114 degrees. So we've got to get this giant tarp over the site so we can get them out of the shade. And then when we, once we get that up, we have to unload about six to 7,000 sandbags that we put in the site um, at the end of the excavation last year. We have to bury the site every year in order to keep it safe and so that people don't fall into the hole that we make. And that requires us to do some tasks before we can actually start excavating. So we've got a layer of dirt. That's over a layer of fencing. That's then over a layer of plastic. Which is over the sandbags. And each sandbag contains dirt that we've excavated in previous years. And it's much easier to throw the sandbags out of the hole than it is to redig the dirt over and over and over again. So we like to put them in those little packages and it makes it much easier. Once we get all this finished up, we'll be able to start excavations here in the next day or so and get onward and downward. Okay, this is day two at Cooper's Ferry, and this morning the students have just uncovered the very bottom of last year's excavation. We're going to leave that last sandbag on so we can walk around on it to do our work, but that's a nice uh, feeling to know that you're making good progress. I'm high on Micah right now. <laughs> So as we open up the site to start a new season, the students will find a level form that is information about the last excavation level that was conducted in each of the different squares. And from last year, we have the students write information about where they're at and where they have to go next to continue excavation. They leave that in the ground for future students to find so we know exactly where to take off from where the last students ended. So we finally exposed the floor here after getting all the sandbags off. And so now that we've got that, the whole time we're doing that, some of them are leaking and getting the um, sediment onto the bottom of the floor here where we have excavated the past three years. And so what we got to do is get all of the sediment off to make sure we can clean it up before we can start excavating again. Now that we have the sandbags out of the ground and the floor cleaned up, we can start to move forward on the 2012 OSU Archaeology Field School and the excavations for this coming summer.